So, this is it. Since August, all I have been getting is please do a house tour, house tour, house tour, house tour. So guess what? It's happening today. Finally, I've been procrastinating and also I feel like the place needed time to really become one with me. So I was taking time to kind of find furniture, homeware and all that kind of stuff and I think I'm finally ready. Also, it just feels really good because I'm filming this the day before Chinese New Year. So I did a spring cleaning last night and this is probably the neatest it's ever gonna be. If this is the first video you're seeing from me, hello, I'm Brenda. I live alone in Singapore and that's pretty rare, I would say. For someone that's local and Singaporean at least, so I'm gonna take you around my one bedroom apartment. For privacy reasons, I'm not gonna share with you my location or my rent, but if you wanna know more, if you wanna know how I can afford the place, um, if you wanna know the story of how and why I moved out, then I have two more videos linked here. Here? I can't tell, I'm just gonna do both. Click on the little eye icon and it'll take you to those videos, but right now we're just gonna do the house tour. I also want to very quickly throw a disclaimer out there. I am quite a neat person but this is a really really hyper neat version. I've kind of arranged it almost as if you're visiting so that I can show you because I also want to make sure that I do this place justice. I take pride in taking care of this place and keeping it clean and I don't hire anyone else to do it. I just want to show it to you in all of its full glory. So without further ado, let's get crackalacking. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. I don't have a cameraman. And this is how my apartment looks like. Ta-da! It measures about 800 plus square feet. I'm not too sure. It also has bay windows all around. So the actual floor area is going to be less than that. I would say conservatively, probably like a high 700, low 800 kind of range. But I really like the bay windows because it gives me a lot of space to put storage. I'm going to show you guys later. Let's not jump the gun. Come on, come on, come on. This is the uh, doorway area. And as you can tell, this is a photo of my family. Because as cheesy as that sounds, it is kind of lonely being by myself. And obviously, I grew up with my family. Me, so it's nice to kind of see them the first thing I come back and like the last thing when I leave. Here I have a fancy ashtray. I don't smoke so it just holds my keys. Shades, umbrellas and this is a shoe rack. It's from Ikea. It is one of these things. You know? You know? Okay. So right here I have like slippers, sandals, stuff that I just want to like walk out in and then this is a weird angle. <laughs> Um, sneakers and then here I have more sneakers and right here is my auntie shopper because I like to do groceries and I don't like to get more plastic bags than I need. I got this from Value Dollar. When it was in the packaging, I did not see these stripes. So I was like, oh nice, just a sensible navy shopper and then I take it out and then it's so obiang. So I'm just like... <laughs> Oh my god. As I'm walking down, this is my bathroom and I'm gonna take y'all on a tour of the bathroom at the end. Am I gonna be kneeling for this entire video? I don't know, I don't care. Okay, so this is my shoe rack. This actually houses my socks. Right here I have my film cameras. I put them out here because I always forget to bring them out. Oh my god. I got this for my birthday, I got this for myself and I just... <laughs> I'm so happy. If I'm not wrong, this is from Objectives. I would say about five, six years ago. It's about like women being painted in a soft, kind of realistic way. And this is something that I painted very, very long ago. So this is my shoe rack. Because it's covered, I house a lot of my impractical shoes slash shoes that I don't wear. So these are kind of heeled sandals slash like fancier, thinner heels, wedges, and then boots. Boots, boots, boots. This is another pair. These are stunning and amazing and just like so cool. I have very dramatic shoes that I feel like I don't get to wear. And then this is the third shoe rack slash bag rack. This allows for me to switch out my bags really fast. I have like my bigger structured bags up top. Bum bags, uh, kiaping handbags. Most of these are vintage and like are my babies so I just want to put them here so that they don't get squashed. Backpack, smaller handbags. There's really no rhyme or reason. And then if we want to scroll down a little bit, these are the shoes that I wear the most often in terms of like dressier shoes and they're just kind of 
hanging out there. And this big bag right here has a bunch of like recyclables. I get sent a lot of packages and I do in turn generate quite a lot of waste so I try to minimize as much as possible. I know it's not a very pretty setup but it's great because any kind of bags like this can be recycled. And then from here if you turn around, this is my kitchen. It's a very small kind of cozy space, but come, come, come. Let me take you through it. Let me let me set you up real good, okay? This is a big like marble kind of counter. I love it. Look at the look at the reflection. It's kind of blue. You see? I love it. This counter has a lot of space for storage on this side. And on that side, it serves as a dining table. It serves as a work table. It's just a very multifunctional space. And if you don't know me, I really, really love to cook. The countertop is super easy to clean down. You don't have to worry about putting things with heat on them. It doesn't stain. It's just a really wonderful countertop. Like, I'm such a big fan of this countertop. I would just, like, cook, right? And then literally put my stuff on the other side and then go and then sit down and eat. And if I want to paint, for example, I can just lay everything out. If I'm on this side facing here, I'm left-handed, so the light comes in here. It's fantastic. It's really perfect. So this is a wooden crate. I got this from Ikea and basically just houses onions, shallots, garlic, ginger, that kind of thing. I don't know if you can see, but behind it, I have a poster. Two little postcards here from... Melbourne? I can't remember. But they're really cute, they're botanical, and it matches the wooden crate, they're just really beautiful. And speaking of, I also have a bunch of like souvenirs, memorabilia, tickets, and stuff that people have given me. So this is from Los Angeles. These are from the Film Museum in Brooklyn. These are from Penang. This is from the Small Art Gallery in Melbourne. This is actually a Van Gogh calendar, which is really cool. It's like a tear away. So every month, I kind of put it in my bujo and it's, it sets the theme. It's from Spain. My friend was doing an internship there and she gave it to me. Thank you, Angel. I love you so much. It's so cute. Tucked away in a little corner here is my air fryer. It was like on sale on Shopee and I was like, score! So that's happening. Uh, this is my microwave. Hey, I really like this microwave. There's also a steam and healthy cooking option, meaning that you can cook your fish, the rice and quinoa and couscous and whatever grains you need. So I use this option a lot and it's really fantastic. So I love this microwave. Is it weird to love a microwave? Over here we have the sink area. I have this like holder thing that I bought from, I want to say Taobao. You just need like a quick grab and it doesn't take up vertical space. So I like it. This is also from Taobao if I'm not wrong. They were all like really freaking cheap. And then I also have like detergent, hand wash, a sponge. I bought that dish tray. The tray is very cute. Let me show you. This tray is so cute, right? I got that from Daiso for $2 and it looks like it was hand painted and I'm pretty sure I saw the same thing at Tang's for like $20. And then this is just a drying rack here. It's very simple, very chill. I tend to do a lot of my homeware shopping online just because I like to compare and see all the different ones. I also do that for Ikea. I don't make my order from Ikea online but I browse everything online and then I kind of write down the number and then I go look for it in the store. I feel like it just saves you a lot more time and you won't be overwhelmed by all the things that are there. This is a really weird angle. All the way up there, it's actually a poster in the 70s when the hippie culture was like really great, when cigarette commercials weren't banned. I got that at a vintage flea in Bangkok. I can't remember which one, but it's the one opposite Chatu Chak at night. And I have like a bunch of like fake stems and leaves there because I just think it adds colour. Above the drying racks are instruction manuals for like the electrical appliances. I also don't know if you can see but this wow sign is actually at Word Weed. It was a birthday gift and I didn't like the ad being in front because it just doesn't look symmetrical and nice so I put it into wow. I just, you know. This cupboard houses all of my uh, dining wear and like stuff for plants. Onto this way, you'll actually never believe what I have inside. I think it's gonna fall out actually. So basically, I'm gonna open one by one. It is just all art supplies. This is something that I don't advertise, but I love to paint and love to draw. I don't know if you guys are interested to see what's in my fridge. I might have to hold it. Okay, my mom buys me a lot of frozen food because she just thinks that I'm not gonna cook anything for myself. So I just have like a bunch of frozen food. I'm just gonna close it back, okay? So, okay. <laughs> this is uh, what I have in my normal fridge. We have guilty pleasures up top. 
uh, face masks because <laughs> I just have a lot and like them cold. This is actually tea that I make myself. I use lemongrass and pandan leaves and then I put a bit of rock sugar in it. This is cheeses and butter. Sometimes, you know, even though you're lactose intolerant and you still want butter and you don't mind like, you know, just shitting your pants after that. And then on this side, right? Oh my god. Dude, it's been two days. I'm still waiting for the tiramisu to kind of solidify but it's still kind of moving. <laughs> I'm very nervous. Salmon that I cook, noodles, chia seeds, broth, kimchi, miso. I have like pre-cut onions and garlic and then a shit ton of vegetables because I'm a big fan of vegetables. And then this here is my dishwasher. All of my like cleaning supplies. And right past the sink, we see this uh, rainbow land. These two are my cutting boards. I tuck them in right here. I also have this. I just use like magazine pages and I fold little containers like this so that when I'm cutting or like breaking eggs or something, I can just kind of dump them very quickly before throwing them in. Quinoa, white rice, brown rice, oats, and sushi rice. I'm a big fan of my carbs. And then right here is my spice rack. I'm very, very proud of it. I love it very much. Like I said, I'm really, really into cooking and I'm really into seasoning. This is actually one of my faves. My mom bought this and I was like, what the heck? I love it. So I bought a small one for myself. Thai sweet chili sauce. It goes with everything, especially nuggets. I got knife oil, vegetable oil, olive oil, and sesame oil. And these are like my washing gloves right here. Oh my God. <laughs> I have my boiler here, which is nice because it lights up with blue lights and it's already blue when it's glass and it's just, it's just really cute. This is like the majority of the storage that I get because like I said, a lot of it is open storage as you can tell from the spice racks and everything. So here is my pantry. Please don't judge me because I like a lot of food and I like to have options and when I go grocery shopping, I almost like forget that I'm just cooking for myself so I, I get a lot of stuff. A lot of like soup bases here, um, vegetable curry, I have a lot of noodles at the back because I love noodles. Minru gave me these cuttlefish ink linguine when she was in Milan which is really nice. Oh my god, I love these. This is udon and this is soba and I get them from Daiso and they're only two bucks. And then this whole lot is tea. And then this is my drunk drawer. <laughs> Now you're wondering why I gain weight, this is why. These are usually for when people come over for like movie night and all, all that kind of- Oh my god, I love this so much. This is really really difficult for me to find, like I have two left. If anyone knows where I can get these, these are the Orion uh, Premium Whole Almond Candy. It's like this, it's an almond candy with a like a caramel kind of butterscotch base. Oh my god, I've looked everywhere. And the only place I can find it is on eBay for like 50 USD, so um, that's not an option. And I also have a lot of Maggie meat because I'm just like a big fan of noodles and soup. This is basically stuff that I need to travel with and like extra stationery and hooks and hangers and all of that. This is the Go Mago drawer, so it's just kind of like mailing stuff, the stocks and everything. This, this is honestly really boring, there's like more flour, cornstarch, water bottles, and then here we have utensils. Right on the top, I also have these like preserved butterfly cases that I got when I was 15. Oh, snap, that zoom is intense. Hold on, let me zoom out. So here's my kitchen at a glance. It is very cozy, it's very nice. I stand here a lot all the time. I really want to do more like cooking videos, so if you want to see that, please let me know. This is effectively just my study area. Uh, if I study. <laughs> my bag is there and then I have a kind of breakfast table. I use it to prop up my laptop if I want to like stand up and have more space. Yes, that's a car vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I use a car vacuum cleaner for my house. I bought that for the dorm and then I was just like, I mean it works. Right here I have letters that I've received that I need to send out. Um, I have a couple of like notebooks. I need to frame this. I want to do a Daiso haul so all of these things are from Daiso, that's why they're here. I have this set of pens and brush markers and all of that because I know I'm going to be using these colours for the month. And speaking of, this is my bullet journal, this is my video schedule, and then uh, this is this week's spread. This is my Mac, it's elevated by this uh, kind of chunky big notebook. These are my speakers. This was actually a birthday present from my like percussion friends. They know that I love singing, they know that I love music, and they know that I love singing in the shower. This is a waterproof UE roll. <laughs> I love it so much and this used to be my favourite colour, it was the colour of my bag when I was in like secondary school. 
So it's one of my favorite gifts of all time and I just, I love it to death. And then these are my tissues. I think the covers are either from Shopee or Taobao. They're so cute, right? Anyway, this if y'all can remember is actually my beauty expert advent calendar. I like to repurpose a lot of PR packages. It opens up like this and I have them labeled on top of the dates, you know, so that I can remember where everything is. I house like cables, you know, hard drives, stationery, hair clips, all those pesky little things that never really had a proper home and they were kind of messy in like little buckets and pots. Here I have my collection of washi tape. I have books that I'm reading here and then masking tape. I've always been an art supplies junkie. I have like nail stuff here. I have body butter underneath. These are like laptop covers. I'm actually giving this away. It's from Aki Tools. So if you want to win this, please head to my Instagram. Behind I have studio and watercolor pencil. I have a light box. It's really, really random and it's really messy and those are wayangs that I have to return to my prof. And then right here, we have just packages. As I was saying earlier, I do have this like bay window space. If you see that I have like weird couch pillows on this side as well, it's because when this is cleared, this actually serves as another seating area. So in case more people come over and they can't fit on the couch because the couch is not that big, we can kind of sit together and it's kind of terrace so we can all watch TV and like watch a movie together. So that's kind of nice. Right at the end here, I actually have my art supplies, palette papers, and then just like paints and all of that. So with that, you get to see my living room. This is the view that you technically see when I film most of my videos because I do have very large um, cottage style windows and so I just get like a ton of light and that's also one of my favorite things about the apartment is that there's so much natural light. This is kind of like my scent station, I call it that. It has my humidifier, it has a couple of candles, it also has an incense holder. I got this palm shaped one from Bali. It's a wooden stand with three test tubes inside and I just so happen to have three different colors of like baby spread. And this test tube rack was from Daiso, it's only two dollars. And these are prettier bags, you know, I love this one especially. And then I have uh, magazines at the back here. I have two kinfolks and one cereal. This is my TV and this is my console. So right here, it's very, very messy, but it works for me. Random pieces of like stationery, fabric scissors, belt punches, that kind of stuff. Over here, I have essential oils, diffusers. Here, I have my books. This is the next drawer. I have like photography and filming equipment. This is my like other stationary area. I stocked up on these pens because I know that these were being discontinued. Spare notebooks at the back. This is a vintage little nightstand. I have these like fake monstera leaves. I like the kind of look that they give. I think they add a lot of like flair. So I just have them in a little vase. This is from Ikea. And I also made this. It's a photo frame. I just put like gold construction paper at the end. People always like get really weirded out when they see this in the background. They can't really see it clearly. That's John Lennon and Yoko Ono. And and this is Whoopi Goldberg. And then these are from NUX. These are the uh, dry oil. I have the clear and the shimmering one. And right underneath is actually a little spot and I put my Kaut Gaia back there just because it's very cute and it's just it just looks nice. So hey! This is actually a pretty random fun fact. When I moved in, I was the first occupant. It was freshly renovated and this entire area is actually repurposed tiling from the roof. It's kind of cool. And then after that, they kind of painted it over and it just kind of looks really cute. And then on this side, it's just wood panels. So that's what's on this side of the living room. If you turn here, you get to see the entrance to my bedroom and also the coffee table and the couch. I also have my cardigan here. It's a very comfy knit, so I just put this here whenever I need to like, you know, cozy up on mama style. I have a couple of like pillows to make it all cozy and stuff. But the really fun thing about this couch is that there's actually space for storage. When I have nothing better to do while watching TV, I play this line. This is kind of a, a very weird thing, but I have a knitting needle. This area here has more bags. Also has a bunch of like weird things like this. <laughs> and then this can also be converted as a sofa bed. And that's actually how I film my videos. Let me, let me take you around. I usually let down the sofa bed and I just sit here and I just talk. 
So this is like removable as an ottoman or you can just kind of lump it together into a whole bed. I said it just has a bunch of like bags and stuff that I don't usually go for. So yeah, this is this is it. It's pretty cool, right? It's pretty neat. And then you can lock it in place, but I'm not gonna do that because I'm just gonna put it back. So right here I have my clothes steamer and I have a couple of like light stands. This is my LED light, this is my ring light. And I do like to keep them here even though they may seem kind of like out of place because it's very important for me to be able to have like the most convenient setup so that I don't find an excuse to procrastinate. So that's what's happening. And then right behind me, you see these glass panels. There's a glass sliding door here, and that is the entrance to my bedroom. Technically, it's in a bedroom, but I won't be able to show it to you. So during my time in university, I actually did a lot of like Southeast Asian and like art dance courses. So this is actually from like my Thai art, and it also kind of distracts from like the bedside table situation I have going on. So yeah, that's that. And without further ado. Welcome to my bedroom! <laughs> and this is how you normally see me when I do my get ready with me. I'm usually sitting down over there and this is my open concept wardrobe. This is like my vanity beauty setup. This is how it looks. It's vintage, it's very very cute, I love it so much. And then over here, we have my kind of like makeup drawer. All of the shelves except for the last one is makeup, the last one is nail polish. Face brushes, I have like my gua sha, and then I have like primers and facial oil here. I have cotton pads, q-tips. These are eye brushes. I have a couple of face ones as well because these are the ones that I use the most often and uh, sometimes I can't find it through there so you know. Spoolies and pillow spray and like capsules and stuff like that. I have a bunch of mists like right here as well. Liquid lipsticks, lip crayons, balms, creams. This is also my everyday stuff. I also got this like bulb thing. I love it. So cute. And uh, I'm not gonna go too far in but this is just a shit ton of makeup. There are two smaller drawers here. I have safety pins and like that kind of stuff over here and then I have more hair stuff. I have hair stuff, hair bands, mirrors, clips and then right here I have lip balms, hand creams. I have a small area for my hand to reach into the palettes over here, I don't know if you can tell. And then behind this side, hidden away, more brushes, face brushes and eye brushes and then a body moisturizer. So this is my open closet. It's very nice. When I first saw it, I was actually a little bit nervous because I was like, crap, is it gonna be too humid and are my clothes gonna be affected? As long as you put it in like a color scheme kind of thing, it doesn't look too messy. These are jackets slash like lighter coats. These are blouses. It's a mix of like vintage and contemporary. These are long dresses. This hanging kind of cubicle space is actually from Ikea. I have like t-shirts, tops, more tops. These two drawers that are covered houses my underwear, short skirts, long skirts, short pants that are not jeans, and then I have like my jeans right at the back because I'm trying not to wear them. Uh, and then I have overalls on this side. I tried to slit them according to wash, but then it really didn't work out. I have more jeans at the back, stuff that I don't wear as often, and then I have white legged pants on the inside. I have trousers, cigarette pants, tailored stuff. The next column houses like my hats and this basket, which at this point is more for decoration. I actually don't really bring them out, but it's kind of cute, right? And this is a jewelry slash perfume section. This painting was actually done by a subscriber and she like met up with me to give it to me. It was so nice. No, this is from Vanessa. I also have a couple of like fake plants. I really wanted plants because I feel like they complement the wood really well and it just kind of like livened up the area, but I also didn't want to be like watering plants in such close proximity to a lot of my jewellery so I settled for fake plants. I have a leaf there and then I have a little potted bush here. It's very cute, it's very tiny. And then I also have just an array of scents. This is actually a birthday present from one of my friends. This is a little like incense holder and I have like pins and clips and scarves, like thingies. These are all like scenty stuff that the scent station cannot hold on to, so this has now become like just a holder. Yeah, and then right here is a watch display case kind of thing. I'm actually like doubling up on a bunch of them, but I don't want to get the bigger one because I think it's very bulky. And then right here I have a bowl for like smaller scents. And then in here, these were meant to be like pill boxes, but I use them to store my necklaces, arm candy, fancier necklaces, bigger minimal like hoop earrings, and then glasses here, and then some storage stuff at the back. Oh, I, I feel like even that's too much. These are all of my bras. 
And then I have con married the space, but it is a little bit tight because I just did laundry. I used to store like my extra skincare in here and then it just got too heavy. Now I just keep like travel beauty stuff. Here I house a lot of my like long sleeve stuff, sweaters, knits, that kind of thing. I have an extra clothing rack because I thought I might have needed it, but turns out I don't, which is nice. Right underneath here is where all of the other like skincare extras. It is a lot of backups of stuff. It's a lot of stuff that I get sent as well um, for review. I usually kind of do my rounds and I kind of rotate my things but I also don't want to open everything all at once because I think once you open it the lifespan kind of decreases. Underneath this you see this like big duffel bag kind of area. That actually houses a lot of my swimwear and my caps and stuff that I don't really reach for. Up here we just have shorter dresses you know like tea time dresses and all of that. Right above as you can see I have like storage area so I have my luggages. Um, inside I have like thicker coats and winter stuff that I don't need to reach for. And right next to it, I have one of these things. If you can remember, I had one of these in the kitchen. I use this holder to hold all of my scarves so that they're easy access. I house all of my like belts, waist belts and like leather belts and all of that. You can't tell because it's camouflaged but my guitar and my ukulele are in black cases over here. These are actually giveaway prizes for when I hit 40k subscribers on YouTube and I want to do a big giveaway. So please subscribe if you haven't already. If you're watching till now, obviously you're gonna like come back, right? I hope. And this is how my apartment looks from this side. It's pretty strange. I don't really see it from this side. Huh. And this is my bed. It is a queen, I think. Uh, very spacious. Oh my god, these sheets are so comfy. These are the same ones from Muji, except these are from Ayuga. Oh, I forgot about this. This is a silkscreen printing that I got for one of like these art events that I was at. I forgot what it's called, but it was at Substation. And then this is the other like bamboo thing that I was telling you about. So I have skincare, I have mists, toners, moisturizers and sunblock if I need it. So these are stuff that's either ready for review or stuff that I'm currently trying out so like I'm really really being very observant and testing them out. When someone does this as a profession, when someone does this as a hobby, as a passion, they're gonna have a lot of it. I just, I'm just gonna open it. So these are spot treatments, eye creams, serums, oils, uh, moisturizers in tubs and like sleeping masks and I also have like a couple of pads. I have like a lot of hair stuff. I've been wanting to test out these um, Taobao curlers and I want to do a video on it to see if it's worth it. I also have a diffuser for my hair dryer that's just kind of sitting underneath the vanity. So that's basically all in my bedroom. It's very simple, very functional. It's where I get ready, um, it's where I sleep. I don't really do much else here. I don't do my work in here because I do a lot of my work outside. This is actually one of the biggest reasons why I don't regret moving out at all and having my own space. To be able to have all of those things outside in the living room, in the living space where I spend most of my day, I get to reserve my bedroom just for sleeping or just for like getting ready and like being in my own element. And last but not least, I'm gonna take you into my bathroom. Let's go. Alright, so this is Dawes my bathroom. I'm just gonna... It's a fun little like folding door kind of situation. Welcome to my bathroom! Another thing that I really loved about this apartment is how spacious the bathroom is because I really don't like being cramped up. This also doubles up as a laundry room. So I have a rack here, I have an extra rack if I have a lot of clothes. And then this is my washer and dryer. I also have my electric toothbrush on top there. It's kind of weird, but I don't have an electrical socket on this side of the sink, so I just have to put it there to charge. Right here, I have my laundry basket. And then this is my plant, my little money plant. I don't know why this is so yellow, but I think it's just like, you know, going through its cycle. And then I also have like dirty, but not really dirty, like laundry. This is my shower area. I have a rain shower, I have the normal shower head and then I have a hose right at the bottom as well. And then this top rack over here houses all of my hair stuff. And then on the bottom shelf you get a lot of like body and face things. On this side here, I want to bring you all in. To me, bath time is very important. It's my one biggest method of self-caring and I really really love all of my shower times. I really care about it a lot. This is a fixate gel pad. I got this on Shopee. It's actually just a gel. It's still to the wall and it fits the tile perfectly and what I like to do is just put my phone here and then I have a small little hook so that I can hang my waterproof speakers so that I can listen 
to music and sing along to it because I can't put it outside. It's a cubicle, right? Closes a lot less. You really can't hear much and the music is delayed and when I want to sing along and hold my like daily concert, <laughs> you know those like YouTube karaoke videos. <laughs> So stepping out of the shower, you know, my toilet, it's there. This is a room diffuser from Innisfree. This is an extra um, molten brown. And then I have my bidet, which actually lights up, which is kind of weird, but also really fun. When it first lit up, I was like, what? And then this is my main kind of sink area. I have a drawer, a pretty big drawer full of like bathroom supplies and all of that on the bottom. And then I also have this, which used to be a standing desk but then I converted it and I'm just using the tray now. I tuck it underneath because I like to put more things here sometimes. This is my sink. I have these two. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I got them from Ikea and they're this like mint green soap dispenser and like a toothbrush holder thing. I also got these smaller toothbrush holders from Daiso and this is a bamboo toothbrush that my best friend Sara gave to me. I like to alternate between using the bamboo toothbrush and electrical toothbrush because sometimes the electrical one is like too much, dude, like too much. That's my mirror and I also have two racks. Okay, technically three if you want to count these as well of like skincare stuff. I have this thing so that I can put my phone because I spent a lot of time here and I like to be entertained. They all happen to be the same shade of yellow and I thought it was so cute so I just like put them here. Headband, scrunchie and a hair tie and also my hand towels. I have the matching towel and they're all from Ikea. This is technically a dressing robe but I didn't know and I wanted to order a bath robe and then I ended up buying that instead so I was like, well, I guess I'll use it. I do use it sometimes. It's kind of lame. It's very pink and very fluffy. So yes, that is my bathroom and we're gonna end this with, you know, a fluffy yellow rug. What? That's my house. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it was worth the wait. I spent a lot of time. I love this place a lot. I'm very thankful to be here. Wouldn't have been possible without you guys. I, I feel like every YouTuber kind of says this but it really wouldn't have been possible if not for YouTube, if not for the opportunities that have come my way, if not for needing a better and new space. Like I said last night, I was spring cleaning and just before my head hit the pillow and I fell asleep, I was like, dang, like, I can't believe I live in this place. Like, this is actually my house. I'm just someone that really needs the space to be able to grow and to do my own thing. A younger version of myself would never have expected me being able to do this at 23. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. If you liked it, don't forget to click the thumbs up and also subscribe. If you're new here, you want to subscribe. Or if you've been here for a while but you haven't subscribed, just do it. I honestly love creating content. I love making videos and I would love to make more of them for you guys. So please comment down below. Let me know what else you want to see. So yeah, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really felt like you were here in the house and like hanging out with me today so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye <laughs>